Hello everyone, welcome back to an at-home science experiment with Supernova. I'm Clayton and today I'm going to be walking you folks through an at-home banana DNA extraction. Um, some fun facts about DNA, it stands for deoxyribonucleic acid and it's typically found in the nucleus of most living organisms besides bacteria. Humans are diploids, meaning that we have two copies of our DNA and bananas are triploids, meaning they have three copies of their DNA and that's why we're using bananas today because it's really easy to see the DNA once we extract it. Um, we're going to be making a detergent out of some household ingredients today and using that to break down the cell and nuclear membranes to get that DNA out. So I'm gonna show you what you need to do this experiment. Ingredients you will need today are one coffee filter, one rubber band, one popsicle stick, one sandwich bag, one banana, it works best if it is green. You need a quarter teaspoon of dish soap, a teaspoon of salt, an empty plastic cup, 100 milliliters of water, and about 250 milliliters of cold isopropyl alcohol. When it comes to the dish soap and salt, you can eyeball the measurements. You don't necessarily need to measure it out exactly, but you do not need a lot of it. What you're going to want to do for the first step of the experiment is you're going to want to break off or cut two, roughly two inch pieces of banana and throw those in your sandwich bag. Once you add your banana to the bag, you're going to want to add your 100 milliliters of water, your quarter teaspoon of dish soap, and your teaspoon of salt to the bag as well. The next step of the experiment can be a little messy, so you might want some help with it. The next step is the fun part. What you're going to want to do is seal your bag and make sure there's no extra air in it, and you're going to start mushing up all of the banana pieces inside and mixing it around with all of the liquid ingredients. Keep mushing up all of the ingredients inside the bag. You want to get a very liquidy consistency and make sure all those big chunks of banana are broken up. The next step is to create the apparatus that you're going to use to extract your DNA in. What you're going to do is take your plastic cup, your coffee filter, and your rubber band and make a well out of it. This is what your well should look like. You should have the coffee filter secured to the top of the cup with a rubber band with a divot in the top so that all of the ingredients can be poured into it. You're going to start pouring the contents of your bag into the top of your well here and make sure not to overflow it. And what this is going to do is it's going to separate all of the liquid and solid ingredients. After you add the contents of your bag to your well, you're going to let the liquid mixture filter down into the bottom of your cup and make sure that it's sealed properly and none of the solid ingredients are falling in. So what I've done now is I have removed the filter with all of the solid materials and the rubber band from the cup and left just the liquid mixture at the bottom. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the cold isopropyl alcohol to the cup and we're going to see the DNA precipitate. So as you add it, you will see all of these fibers of DNA begin to form and swirl around. Looking in the top of the cup, you can see that some of the strands of DNA are starting to form. I'm going to leave this for a couple minutes and let the DNA precipitate inside the cup. I've allowed the mixture to sit for a little bit and the DNA has precipitated into this clump of fibers which you can move around with your popsicle stick. When something precipitates, it just means that we have made a solid from a liquid mixture, which is what this DNA has done. Just to recap what you've done today, you've created a detergent out of soap, salt, and water, which broke down both the cellular and nuclear membrane of the banana cells and allowed for the DNA to be extracted. You then precipitated the DNA using cold isopropyl alcohol, and it formed those long gooey strands that you may be playing with right now. I hope you folks enjoyed this experiment. Thanks for tuning in.